Doom 2, one of the greatest sequels of all time, to one of the best games of all time. But this video isn't about Doom 2, it's about a compact disc slipped inside my Doom 2 box, which goes by the name of Year 2000 Diagnostic. It seems to be made by RTC, although that could easily stand for Real Time Clock. Now, I think as the 20th century came to a close, the Millennium Bug Watchdog Task Force 2000 negotiated to get these discs slipped into the odd software package so that you could test your PC. Either that or someone just popped this in here for no apparent reason. But in any case, I thought it would be interesting to fire this program up and see what it makes of 2017. The Y2K bug has been present in an IBM PC compatible context since Big Blue launched for 5150 way back in 1981, where the century byte, i.e. the 19 part of 1999, is hard coded and doesn't roll over with time, meaning that when January the 1st 2000 rolled over, the CMOS real time clock would see it as January the 1st 1900. Now, operating systems can be updated to accommodate this, but if the PC is off during the rollover, for example, and then boots, an older version of DOS may see the real time clock set to the year 1900 and reset its own date to the 4th of January 1980, which is the earliest clock date it can handle. This could cause confusion, panic, and alarm. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked by details which are inconsequential. Now we know that any modern day PC will pass these tests just fine, so this is more to see what the program looks like and how it tries to determine if there's a problem. Initially I attempted to run the disk on my Windows 10 machine, but even in compatibility mode, Windows just isn't happy with running a 20 year old 16 bit executable. So the next call was onto my Windows 98 machine. Now this Dell unit was actually made after the year 2000, so there should be no issues here whatsoever. The disk doesn't auto run, but the Windows executable opens up this rather dire looking scaled image, telling us it only takes 5 minutes to diagnose and fix the Millennium bug. Alongside this rather strange disclaimer, this product has been developed in good faith, blah blah blah. Essentially it looks like a Visual Basic application cobbled together by a 9 year old. Anyway, it tells us the PC needs to reboot 3 times. So I clicked yes here, but then I think it had an issue with my screen capture software and threw a blue screen at death. Once the PC finally rebooted however, we're quickly thrust into this DOS program which has been tucked inside the boot routine. I think this is essentially changing the clock time and waiting to see what it ticks over to. It then changes it to a few seconds before midnight on the 31st of December 1999 and then reboots to check if the BIOS rolls over the correct date outside of the operating system. Once Windows comes back, bingo, we're presented with a report telling us which tests were successful. It makes me wonder who was up at midnight as the Millennium rolled over checking their PC. I think I was probably in a ditch somewhere. With hindsight, I think I'd rather have been checking my PC. You can't run any fixes as apparently we haven't got the software anyway, so that headline of only 5 minutes to diagnose and fix the Millennium bug is a bit of a stretch, especially if you have to order and wait for the repair software to come afterwards. So I thought we'd try the DOS version as well on my Compaq Pro Linear 4100. It's a 486DX4100 from about 1995, so it's pretty give or take as to whether it will pass. And this time, shock. shock, shock horror, horror. We encounter several problems. As you can see, both the real time clock and BIOS will fail to roll over successfully if the system is on, although DOS manages it just fine. Even worse, if the PC is off, perhaps the owner was out celebrating, then all rollovers will fail. This is heavy stuff. Now at this point, if I had the fix utility then it would essentially install a memory resident program that would launch on boot and act as a middleman between the OS and the real time clock, replacing the century byte with a 20 rather than a 19. But that requires precious DOS memory which I need for games, and also I can just set the date to whatever I please and the machine will continue to work fine regardless. Interestingly though, I did find that HP still has drivers and downloads for this aging machine on their website, having acquired Compaq back in 2002, and they had their own Y2K test program. Unfortunately my PC was apparently too old to run it, yeah I know, go figure. But it's interesting to see the ROM date of the 29th of July 1994. 
It's too old to flash update that BIOS, but I thought I'd run the BIOS setup program anyway. And wow, what a treat this is for a 1994 BIOS setup. Unlike most IBM compatible, these compact machines store their BIOS configuration program on a hard drive partition. I don't have that partition, but I was able to create some boot disks to do the same job. This is obviously a more recent setup utility than the age of the machine, but still, even for the late 90s, it's pretty darn snazzy. Most PCs just had a crappy DOS-like interface. But whilst we're here, we're able to change the real-time clock settings, which roll over fine if the machine is on, but reboot it, and indeed you can see the date reverts to the 4th of January 1980. This is the date embedded from an early DOS beta. Thankfully from here we can set the current date, reboot the machine, and voila, job is a good one. So what have we learned here? Well, we've learned that my Compaq 486 will screw up if it's off when the millennium passes. But that was 17 years ago, and it's easily fixed anyway. And what else have we learned? Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this fruitless look at an old Y2K utility. I certainly did, because I just love this sort of thing. So, thanks for watching, subscribe if you like, thumb it up or down, share it or even contribute to keep my channel going. In any case, thank you very much for watching and have a good and Y2K bug free evening.